I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with John Gasman. John? Hey, Lou. Always a pleasure. John yep. Gasman, owner of Roanoke Motors. And uh, John was kind enough to provide me uh, my dream car. And John, come with me. Okay. Let me, let me get you and your car. And I know you have many of them. You were not only the owner, and how long have you been the owner of this uh, establishment? Well, actually, I started working here in 64, but we purchased it in 84. Got it. Okay, so, so, so for uh, uh, the last 30 years. Yeah, well, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. And what do we have? This here is a 1999 Prowler. Uh, it's the first year they came out with the yellow. Uh, first year they came out with chrome wheels. Uh, really nice. Yep. Yeah, let's, let's walk in. Go ahead. And this has got the bigger horsepower, 3.5, or the 97s. The first if original ones were all purple, and they had the 212 horse. These are 253 horsepower. That's a big but, difference. Yeah, and these cars, um, you know, they're these were Plymouth. Then Plymouth went away in 2000, and then they became Chrysler Prowlers. But um, as the end of 2000, 2001 model year, I guess. But uh, so this they, is they actually made about 11,000 complete. Of, a little over 11,000 total uh, in that length of time. Okay. And they still bring the same money today, basically, as they brought new. As long as they don't have a lot of miles on them. You rarely see these things out. I mean, let me just get a shot of the side <laughs> of this. It's it's a modern day hot rod. Yeah, and, and, and you couldn't build a car. You could not even come close to building a, a street car that looks like this. And the factory did it. Uh, Tom Gale was one of the original guys. Aluminum frame. Lumen doors, lumen hood, lumen trunk. Um, so El Cole built the frames for these cars. And what really stopped production is El Cole just wanted way more money for the lumen frames as time went on and just didn't get to be, it wouldn't be profitable to pr produce anymore. And that's stock exhaust. Oh, yeah, it's just the way it came from the factory. Wow, let me just zoom in on that. What a unique look, right? It is, it is. I mean, it looks like a, it looks like a car out of the 30s. Yes. You know? And yet, it's a car out of the, out of the uh, basically a uh, '99. So, a '99 looking like it's brand spanking new. Let's let's open the door. Yeah, you want me to put down the top here, just show how easy uh, that sure. is to do. Actually, just take me a second. All right. Uh, when I say that, let the seat push back the other way. But... It's like the old Corvette's got the push rods in the back. Yeah. And we've added a few things for safety up here in the front. Little double catches so okay. the government keep the government happy. Okay. Now this to the top will just fold. Ah. Yeah, it's going right. I had it down by now. Could you just pull this just sure. up? Sure. Certainly. There? there you go. And it just and fits just in the back. Came with the. What color you got came with four mats with the embroidered inside that. That was part of the. Just put that back up. So, so the trunk is really for the, the convertible top. That's right. Because see the rear, the transmission sets back there. Oh, really? This whole drivetrain is out of a Chrysler '99 Chrysler 300. Remember, or not 300, but uh, uh, I want to say like the LHS body style. Yeah. Okay, so they use the transmission of the engine, but they put the engine back here in the rear end, turn it the other way with the drive shaft like the old modern rear wheel drive cars instead of front wheel drive. The power windows are still the same switches. Uh, everything they've done on this car, they've kind of used from another car to produce except the body. So let's take a look now. It's real easy to see the interior. Yeah. Let's take a look at that dashboard. There's a Every color unique... of the car, if you get a black one, if you get a um, uh, yellow one, or if you get a purple one, it gets a, the same color dash. Is that tax standard? Pardon? Is the tack standard? The tack is standard in the car. By, really? yeah, by Tom Gale thought they, that was part of it. They did put cruise control on it and a slap stick. So you can put it down plus or minus. So it would be like driving a manual transmission. Yes. Um, they put a better stereo system with a stacker for a six disc stacker behind the rear seat. All, everything you see on this car is standard. They, made, they only made only the temperature you could get from any year is the color. Otherwise, it's all the same equipment. The 90, 97 seats all the way to the 2002 seats when they quit are all the same. So it's just a well thought out car. It's a it's a throwback to the 30s. Yes, with Let's, airbags. With airbags, <laughs> right. Let's take a look at the, uh, there's the prowler seat. I just wanted to give you the shot of that. There's a little prowler in there, a little cat-like prowler. Let's mm -hmm. take a look. How do you open the hood? The hood, this? yeah, actually opens from the inside. Okay. It's got a... 
just an old release on it. Um, okay. And of course, it'd be a prop rod. These cars, uh, this got like 4,800 miles on it, but all these cars you use these the bumpers. The battery just go ahead. Yeah, all they use these bumpers. Um, in, in the collision test, there's nothing in these bumpers. They're all the all the. You got to bend a frame back for the for the airbag to turn off. But it's just a unique car. These little things here are just your headlights. See, everything so, was said that again because that's how you adjust your headlights. You screw the headlights so you can see where your where your floats under bubbles in there. See, okay. See? So that's how you adjust your headlights. But that's very similar to the Viper. But it, it's just a very unique car. And like I said, it just it, it amazes me. You take them for a drive. It just, people turn their heads and think it's a brand new car out there on the highway. Yeah, it's uh, it's wonderful. We've got a V6 in here. Yep. 3.5 liter. Bell. Wow. They've. Uh, and the nice little prowler emblem there on it. I'm gonna get a shot at the other side. And then John, I'm, while you shut the hood, we'll, sure. uh, let me just uh, take a shot of this for a second. All in here. And uh, let's shut the hood. Okay. And let's get a shot of the overall car with the top down now. Let me get a shot of the side Four of Four and a half inches of ground clearance in the front. So, I mean, everything about the car just got the rake look of a car out of the 30s. And just, uh, it could go to any street rod show and, and win its class, you know. Just yeah, that's beautiful. John, thanks for being on my car story. Well, I hope you, yeah, I'm enjoying showing you the automobile. But they're, they're, well, there's less out there every year, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> People wreck them, do things with them, so there's less of them out there every year. Thanks for sharing yours. You're welcome.